Cloud Mountain. Will this black tea take me to Cloud Nine? Hey everyone, I'm Siggy and I love all things poor. Today, I am bringing you a video about a tea that is, while not poor itself, quite poor adjacent. I am talking about a kind of mainstay on the Nanwashan YouTube channel, the Cloud Mountain Black Tea. Now, what's so interesting about this one? Well, first off, let's look at where it comes from. It is from Da Chao Shan in Linzang in Yunnan. And if that isn't already kind of telling you the whole story, let's make it a bit more clear. The cultivar for this tea is Da Ye Jong. In other words, the same cultivar as the one that's used for poor tea. That's why I'm here today to give it a try. This tea was harvested in 2019 and what's also interesting about it is that it comes from a producer that specializes in exclusively producing gushu tea and this Cloud Mountain black tea is no exception. So what we have here today is a gushu hongcha and I'm very curious to see what it's going to be like. Of course, we all love our uh, Gushu Pua teas here. With excellent tea quality, good processing and uh, a bit of aging, ideally. But today, let's see what Gushu, being Gushu, being old tree material, does for a black tea. Okay, while this is steeping, I'm also going to tell you the price real quick. It's actually not particularly expensive. It's uh, $11.50 on the US shop for 20 grams or $34 for a full 100 gram box. On the EU shop, it's €10.50 for 20 grams or 32 euros for the entire 100 gram box. Okay, with that out of the way, I'm not going to keep the steeping times for this too long. I'm just going to get it in there and we'll see how it hits us. All right, sorry. My nose is really itchy. Okay, here's the tea. We got that nice amber color, basically what we'd kind of expect from a black tea. Let's also give all of this a smell, see what it's like. The aroma is usually one of the strong points of black tea, very pleasant. Mm, and this one is no exception, wonderful fruity aroma. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. Lovely smell. I, I could smell something like this all day. Really good. Okay. With no further ado, I think we got all of the info about this tea out of the way. All that's left to do is to drink it. Oh, uh, one more thing. Sorry. I used 90 degrees Celsius water in my 100 milliliter Gaiwan that I always use for these videos, and I used 5 grams of tea. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's still quite hot. I can say that for sure. This is 
curious. I wasn't quite expecting this. So, as I'm drinking this, I'm not quite getting a lot of flavor yet. Because, as I said, it's really hot and I don't want to keep it in my mouth for too long. But what I am getting is a really strong kind of refreshing sensation. I'm not sure if I'd call it minty or anything like that, but it, it really is like... <sighs> you notice this kind of freshness when you breathe in and out. And that came really quickly, which is super surprising, because when I get it in poor tea, it usually like takes a bit to come out. <sighs> That's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I am starting to get more of the uh, flavors of the tea now. But that kind of refreshing feeling is really remarkable. I think I do maybe detect like a the tiniest hint of something vegetal underneath it. But I'm not entirely sure. That refreshing sensation combines nicely with the tea's fruitiness. It is quite fruity, I'd say. More on the fruity side than the uh, floral side when it comes to those aromas. Mm -hmm. Really pleasant. Wow. Wow. Yeah, th this is this is a very good black tea. Mm. Oh, I, I am enjoying this so far. I want to go for another steep right away. Sorry, I'm throwing leaves all over the place. Let's do it. Wow, this is nice. Also quite pleasant in terms of mouthfeel. I think compared to other black teas I've had, what the like what the baseline material for this for this Gushu black tea seems to do is that it really, really improves the mouthfeel of this tea. And that makes it very pleasant to drink, especially along with that kind of refreshing feeling. Really, it really makes you feel like you just kind of want to keep going. As you said, like I'm, uh, as, as I said, like I'm basically getting back in there right away. Oh, that's nice. That is so nice. Really like a pretty excellent tea, honestly. Uh, I, I can't quite pin down what that fruity flavor is, though. I'm, I'm kind of struggling a bit with that right now. It, there definitely is a fruitiness there, but I... I can't really tell you what exactly it is. Let's see, okay, that should be long enough for the second steep. Okay. Let's smell this again. Still really nice. And, uh, second steep is going in. Oh, it's still quite hot. This second steep, however, feels more viscous already. 
So even better mouthfeel than on the first steep. And we're still getting that kind of full bouquet of aromas. Oh. So good. Yeah, this... Ooh, this is very pleasant to drink. Once again, this... Yeah, I, I just want to keep going. This refreshing feeling in particular, coupled with how nice and aromatic it is, just makes for such a good tea. It, it's honestly almost baffling. So, I remember this being a tea that was, like, so popular with people that it sold out really quickly. Um, if I remember correctly, Gabriele basically purchased the entire remaining stock that the producer had of that tea. So uh, hopefully this time there's going to be enough of it to go around for everyone. Because with how nice this is, I genuinely recommend that... Uh, everyone should give it a try. And if you don't want to commit to the full 100 gram box right away, obviously you can order a smaller sample size. Mm. I myself uh, am very glad that I picked up 100 grams of this because I have a feeling it's going to be gone in no time. I mean, not, not gone from the store. I mean, like the 100 grams I got uh will be drank up rather quickly. Okay. Let's do one more steep on camera here. At this point, as always, if you're enjoying my tea reviews, if you enjoy my poor lexicon stuff and everything I do over here on the non on YouTube channel, please leave a like on this video, leave a comment, maybe tell me if you've had this tea before and what your experience was with it. And of course, subscribe to the non on YouTube channel. We always appreciate you all being there, watching the videos, liking, commenting. It's really important and it helps us out a lot. So... If you have a moment and you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to do it. Mm. Uh, letting this tea cool down a little also does wonders. It's, it's just super nice. There's no real other way to say it. Just, just a really good tea and Perhaps another example of black tea being really underrated in general. Because this black tea is quite remarkable. And not just within the category of black teas, but I'd say between all categories of tea overall. Like, the, this can absolutely hang with your uh, high-quality oolong teas Ooh, so nice yes okay I'm gonna let this one sit for just a little bit longer to see if there's anything else or new that comes out on this third steep the review portion of this video, I'd say, is mostly done for now. We'll just enjoy the last steep together and then sign off. Also, just to be clear, I didn't mean last steep like this tea can only go for three steeps. Uh, I just usually do three steeps in videos so they don't go too long. Uh, I'm the type of person, as you might have noticed, that doesn't really talk particularly fast or do things particularly fast. So uh, three steeps is what I do to keep myself at a 
let's say, somewhat reasonable video length. Okay. Third steep of the Cloud Mountain, Gushu, Hongcha, going in. And it just, it remains really nice. The longest steep didn't do anything that would affect the tea negatively. So it seems quite tolerant when it comes to how you can prepare it. Obviously, it's going to taste different between uh, flash brewing it or preparing it the way I do, or maybe preparing it in an entirely different way. But with my particular method, which <laughs> at least I would personally describe as a little bit of stress testing, if you will, this tea does perfectly well and it tastes and feels really, really good. <sighs> yep, that is fantastic. The second half of these steeps so far, I'd say, has always been a tiny little bit better. So this tea certainly benefits from not just drinking it up right away, but pouring it, letting it sit in there for maybe a minute or so to cool down just a little bit. And when you give it that little moment it needs to really settle in, it's so nice. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to let this sit for a tiny little bit. I'm going to end the video here. As always, I hope you enjoyed my tea reviews, even if they're not about poor tea. Uh, we, we are going to make more poor content soon, don't worry. I... Uh, still like poor very much and I haven't stopped drinking it but uh, I also find it important to branch out a little bit so yeah thank you all for watching I hope we we'll see each other again soon and goodbye <laughs>